good morning. My name is Alex Brownsell. I'm the editor on m and Global. I'm delighted to say I'm joined by Dominic Delpour from Havas Media Group. Now, now, Dominic, for anyone that's not here, that hasn't just seen it, this is the Havas Cafe, the, the amazing launch we've just seen. Could, could you just describe what's happened? I mean, I think that clients expect from us to bring more innovation on the table, mm -hmm. more disruptive ideas, and to help them becoming more makers. Mm -hmm. So we add everything, and uh, the French team, during seven months, created that Marty project, Marty like Back to the Future, which is a connected couch. <laughs> there is probably 15 to 20 technology from geofencing to voice OS, including all the geeky devices mm -hmm. and cool yeah. factors that you can expect from that. Yeah. And from your coach, you can also try to understand what's going to be the new boundaries mm -hmm. between mm -hmm. professional life and personal yeah, life yeah. because we know that work it's everything mm -hmm. especially with that 24-7 uh, connectivity mm -hmm. so really understanding where you can just switch off where you can switch on where you can move from a entertainment session to a massage <laughs> or, or kind of cool meditation moment yeah. so everything is embedded mm -hmm. so you see a couch but in fact there is incredible technology that has been literally designed and then built by the Havas crew. Wow. So this is a way just to make stuff concrete. You know, it's not mm. just walk, talking the, the talk. It's yeah. literally making things with clients and then inviting them not only to see the stuff, but also to discuss about it. Yeah. What it means, what it shows in your business, you're a retailer, what kind of new offers you can mm. imagine in that kind of home entertainment moment and, and so on. So mm. pretty exciting. Yeah. It's a first. And we launch around that idea of Fab Lab and Innovation Lab, what we call Havas 1835, yep. which is not only the millennial factor, mm. but Havas 1835, which was the year of foundation of Havas, okay. which is the oldest uh, uh, agency and also the first press agency in the mm. world. Mm. This was Charles Havas. He has an intern called Paul Julius Reuter, mm. and then left of us to create the second press agency, <laughs> which was Reuters agency. Wow. So pretty nice history of entrepreneurship that Yannick wanted to highlight with yeah. that launch and that new venture we are kicking off today. Yeah, and, and obviously, you know, it's, it's, it's very fun. It's something that people are like to talk about. But I guess, it's, you know, a serious message about the way that data and technology and the Internet of Things is, 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 is evolving media and communications and kind of underpins it. And you need to be hands on. Mm. There's no way you can understand that new digital disruption without having it 24 7 with you, trying, testing, understanding, failing at. I mean, client talk about Snapchat, just go on the platform, yeah. play with the filters, mm. understand how the new Discover is different than the previous version and why the stories are embedded at the heart yeah. of the Discover branded content or uh, endorsed by publishing houses and so on you need to leave that media revolution by starting at home yeah. with your kids with your teens and with yourself and then to extrapolate to your business environment i mean you try sometimes you fail you fix and you move forward this is the Avas way uh, very pragmatic and also with that strategic vision of being one step ahead of the competition mm. with a critical ambition which is also changing the industry, mm -hmm. fixing mm -hmm. stuff that doesn't work. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes advertising suck, especially yeah. in yeah. digital. Sometimes advertising is not good and, and with bad inventory or boats like in programmatic. Yeah. We want to fix that. This is our ambition. Yeah. And, and we are investing a lot, trying to provide to the market new tools, new barometer, mm -hmm. new quality index, a new way of sharing client information with them mm. and empowering them because they all want to understand better what's yeah. going on. Yeah, I, th this is a festival of creativity. It always has yeah. been, and and it, but is what you you know what you're launching indicative of the fact that that what creativity in marketing is is changing. You know, it's not now just about you know the kinds of assets and the kinds of creatives that were winning awards 20 years ago. That now because of data, because of technology, creativity in marketing is a whole new ball game. You're right, and I think that. Another thing that, that is behind all that process, which is it's a people business. Mm. And creativity means talent, and it's people talent. So you have 100 people who worked on that multi connected mm. coach for eight months. Wow. So it's an internal project. Mm. It's, it's not only 
team building, but it's also brainstorming, it's prototyping, it's making stuff in a fab lab. So also for people that are focusing on media and delivery uh, uh, of efficiency and reach and career and so on, also moving to the other side and say, okay, now let's be in the shoes of our clients and let's try to build something that we're going to sell. Yeah. But you're right, creativity is everywhere. And Yannick made a very strong assessment of, okay, we love the tech, we love the big data, mm. but the big idea are more important. Yeah, yeah. And the big talents, and we want the most talented people in the industry mm -hmm. to join that family. Mm -hmm. Because w when you're there, you can feel that there is a very different vibe mm. from all the other holding company. Okay. Yeah. Very different. Creative guys, mm. media guys, data guys, journalists, uh, Troy Carter, mm. former manager of Lady Gag. I mean, everyone <laughs> would live there, would join of us from a Nobel Prize in mass to uh, pop stars and, and, and rock manager mm. or bedroom programmers and producers, we want also to be the most entertainment driven group because yeah. we feel that that's a great way to connect emotion with, with people. And that's what brand expects from us. Yeah. So literally creativity is everywhere, but there is a lot of technique, there are a lot of rigor, a lot of work. And um, you have one of the most talented guys in the industry there. So we're super proud of that family. Yeah, and it's been a super entertaining morning. And uh, well, when can, can clients buy this off you? Is that is that possible? Yeah, I mean, first it's a conversation. <laughs> and if they want to buy it. But, you know, we have lovely clients like in France, Roche Beaubois, and, mm. and people would do that as a job. It, yeah, it was yeah, so, a sort of hobby. So we, we want to stay in, in our position. Of, yeah, you're of not actually becoming a furniture maker. Exactly. <laughs> that's, that's, not the, that's not the venture. Uh, but, again, um, everything starts with, with a chat mm. and everything starts with an idea and everything starts with a vision that we need to master technology not, not to be s mm. enslaved by mm. it and again the disruption is just the beginning what can be automated will be automated mm -hmm. artificial intelligence Yannick announced that have us cognitive project with IBM Watson we partner with them and Watson will provide his AI capabilities to our clients and also we're moving to the consulting area with a big launch in, in, in January. We're launching in September, full six media, the first full programmatic network uh, on the media side. So a lot of innovation, a lot of ideas, but again, people business yep. and, and it's just it's just advertising, you know? No one dies. So we also <laughs> need to enjoy life because life is short and 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 uh, and also to vote remain that that's my personal <laughs> uh, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely and Yannick made it clear as well as we're building our headquarters in london uh, for the european uh, operation in, in king cross just next to the universal music uh, mm. uh, headquarters and uh, yes we strongly believe that uh, there is an european touch there is an american touch a latin american touch an asian touch and we want also that multiculturalism to strive and shine out of us because again I think that we are uh, very um, fond of our local mm. roots and that cultural relevancy all over the world. Mm. Well, well we'll watch with interest what happens over the next 24 hours and uh, well, I hope you enjoy the rest of the festival thank you so much I for your time so. it's been uh, it's been great talking wonderfully entertaining too thank, thank you. you Alex thank Bye. you